This game is actually all about bats and the moths that they catch and little insects that they fly around and catch. And it's all about how those bats find their food to catch. If we go into a cave, if you go into a cave and shout, the sound of that echo bouncing around, it echoes off the walls of the cave. And that's exactly what bats do. They send out a signal and they detect where the food is from listening to the response that comes back when they send out the signal. They use what's called radar, echolocation it's called. When they pick up where the insect is, they go straight for it and the sound of the signal becomes more rapid. It's like did 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 really, really fast. And then when they get so close to it that they can catch it, then they use their mouths to actually grab it. It's an amazing technique they've got to find their food. We've got lots of different types of bats in, uh, in this country. The small bats are called pipistrels, okay? The bigger bats are called noctules. So I need a volunteer who would like to be a bat, who's probably particularly hungry this morning. So well done, Harry. Harry's our bat. Even though bats can see quite well, they're not blind, they're not actually blind, but they don't use their eyes to catch the food. So we've got a blind bat, so he needs to use his ears and he's going to fly around and he's going to try and tick the moths by listening to where the sound comes from. Who wants to be eaten by Harry? Put your hand up. Oh, we've got a volunteer, couple of volunteers here. Brilliant. Yeah, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs>